Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we are taking a look at the Bull 454 in 454 Kasul. Let's take a look at the spawner. The Bull 454 spawns here in Home Pistol Revolver, Bull 454 in 454 Kasul. It is a five chambered swing out cylinder revolver. Let's briefly take a look at the rounds here. So on the left, I have a 45 ACP, and on the right, I have the 454 Kasul. Yeah, it's a big round. And to go with that big round, we have a big gun. And here's your 1911, and here is your monstrous... I gotta, like, pan this shot. <laughs> 454 Kasul. This is a monstrous revolver. Let's look at the controls. You've got a typical swing out cylinder controls left on the trackpad and the cylinder will come out. Give it a spin, whee! Uh, there is no speed loader, so you gotta loosely load the rounds in. Ta-da! Swing it, put it back in. Down on the trackpad, we'll cock the hammer, like so. It is a double action and single action, so you can cock it manually, or you can just pull the trigger and get, and it'll cock the hammer and fire all in one go. Up on the trackpad, we'll release the physics, so you can spin it like a cowboy. Oh, don't, so, oh, there it goes. And right on the trackpad, we'll flip it around for easy access to the cylinder, which will not open because I got the hammer cocked. If you got the hammer cocked and you press left on the trackpad, nothing happens. So let's go there. There we go. Now it's easy to access. Real quickly, I'll show you how to load it. Left on the trackpad, swing the cylinder out, throw the rounds in, flip it in. And you're good to go. If you want to eject it, left on the cylinder, or left on the trackpad to eject the cylinder, press the trigger on the ejector here, or use physics to throw the rounds out. Ta-da! Let's look at the attachments. Unfortunately, there are no rails for red dots or lasers on the top or bottom. Oh, really, it really aches for it, but they don't exist. Uh, you can put a compensator on it. Look at that, chunky sucker. And, sorry, no suppressors. Oh well. Eh, can't win them all. But you do get a stock. And that's gonna help a lot for the recoil on this sucker, let me tell you. Let's take a look at the sights. Ooh. Okay, well, we got a big plate on this uh, rear here, but the cutout for the notch is actually really shallow. That makes it really difficult to find that front post. As big as it is, the front post only has a tiny little red spot at the top to line up. So actually, the sights aren't very good. They're manageable, but they're not, considering how much space there was to work with, you'd think that they could do a better job. Oh boy. All right, with all that nonsense out of the way, let's get to the good stuff. Let's do the recoil test. Five rounds of 454 Kasul with our new recoil cam. Isn't it lovely? Here we go. Yep, yeah, no surprise. It's a ceiling shooter. Oh, look, some got on the paper. Okay, not a great first uh, shot. Oh, it did score a 10, though. And yeah, one, two, and off the paper. Uh, so there's a five shots in here. Only four made it onto the paper. Uh, you're going to have to be patient with this one. Not surprising at all. But hey, some of them made it on the paper. And uh, not all revolvers can say that. Let's see if the compensator can tame this. Mighty beast. No, it's worse. It's worse. It's all off the paper. Ah, uh, yeah. Bad first shot. My bad. But let's face it, um, the rest of them weren't going to be on the paper anyway. Let's say no to compensators. Let's see what the stock can do. Okay. Oh, much better, much better, much better. 8.6. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Again, not the greatest first shot. Eh, still score to 10. But, uh, oof, wow. Okay, that makes an enormous difference for this weapon. Whew, now you've got something serious going. There you have it, the Bull 454, a.k.a. the Raging Bull. You've been waiting for it, I know. Ooh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Till next time, I will see ya. Ooh, meaty. Woo.
Yeah.